Hey, this is Dave, and today I'm going to go over a problem you may get when using conditional formatting uh, with tables and Telerik reporting. First, I'm going to show you the uh, problem, and then I'm going to show you the solution to it. So, first thing we're going to do is add a report. We'll use a Telerik reporting wizard. Just call it conditional formatting report. Add it, and we're going to use a table wizard since we're going to be using a table, and add a data source, object data source, choose test report factory, and we want the conditional formatting uh, data source, and the field city, we'll add that to the report office. Okay, so the first thing we got to do if you're going to do uh, conditional formatting is you got to select the whole report. You do that by clicking this square up here on the top left. And we have to add the data source to the whole report. We're going to choose object data source. So then we'll go down and we're going to select the table. And we're going to go to conditional formatting. Add a new rule. new and we're just going to use field that city equals Ottawa we want it if uh, Ottawa is the city it will make the square red so over here we'll tell it to make the square red so we'll go to background color red And click OK. So now let's uh, test it and I'll show you the problem. See, the problem here is every time the commission will formatting fires, it creates a new table, which is not what we want. So let me explain what's going on here. Everything in this center section right here will repeat whenever conditional formatting fires. Um, so we can't use a table. So let's delete that table. Oops, whole table. All right, and this section up here, this section is static. Uh, it will never repeat. So let's go to the toolbox, and we'll add a text box to the top. We'll just uh, put city in there, and then we're going to add a text box to the repeating section. Okay. Go to expression on it, and we're going to add field.city. Okay, now that we got that added, uh, let's go to style on these and um, border style. Let me open that up. Go to the default, and we're going to make it solid. Do that on this one too. Make that solid. Okay, now let's add the conditional formatting. So let's go back up here. Conditional formatting, we're going to add that rule again. Field that city if that equals Ottawa. And go to style and go to background and we'll tell it to make it red. And click OK. And click OK again. Let's see if it worked. Yep, it made it uh, red, but we still got another problem with uh, some additional space here. So let's see if we can figure out what that spacing's about. Go here and reduce the size of that. Now let's try it again. No, that didn't work either. What the hell is going on? Ah, I see. This right here we got to reduce the size of. Now it will be good. 
there we go. So that's the solution to the conditional formatting problem. This is a problem that only Telerik reporting has. Uh, SQL Server reporter services uh, doesn't have a problem with this, but if you're going to use Telerik reporting, you need to know uh, about this problem and how to solve it.